Hello, welcome to the Game Mixing Protocol project. Ex we're exploring crossword composability on MUD. On behalf of my team, I'll take care of the presentation for today. Why do we care about mixing? Well, having a mixing protocol is going to make it easier for developers to reuse game logic in another game. And I like to make the analogy that this is like making a TikTok duet versus creating a brand new video. And it really just gives us shared experiences and brings all of us closer together. What we have built is a mixed game of Tic Tac Emojimon, and how it's going to work is that the existing Solidity contracts is wrapped in a standardized interface that we proposed. Um, the caller uses this interface to read and write to tables in his or her own world. Additional states and logic can be added by the caller to then make the game more interesting. The demo currently is limited to being implemented on one world. And we have created the world of tic-tac-toe first. And as you can expect, we can go ahead and play the game. Once that I have three X's in a row, a new message pops up saying that the winner has been determined. I will now go ahead and build the next game. Okay, now tic-tac emojimon has been built and deployed. And you might think that tic-tac-toe has to be played on the top left corner, but this is simply not the case. With additional logic, we can now play tic-tac-toe anywhere on the board. And as soon as I have collected three monsters, I shall be able to see that I win. Just like that. So there is um, uh, the interface model that we are also curious about, and it is uh, motivated by a formal model. And for those of you who might be familiar, it is the state transition um, F over here. And essentially what we are going to do is we're going to expose a function F and uh, aggregate all the input parameters into M. And once we have that, we can interpret M and break it into the components for M1 and M2. Then we can call the component functions for tic-tac-toe and emojimon, then read the states and store relevant states to the new game. How that looks in code is simply like this. So here is my F3 function, which is for tic tac emojimon, and you will see that it is just a, a composite of F1 function and the F2 function. The only more complicated portion is the logic that makes it span uh, over across the entire 20x20 um, 20 20 cell of Emojimon. But otherwise, uh, that is all the code that is necessary. The remainder of the script is simply a copy of uh, the previous game. And then you can take a look at the MUD configuration as well, where MAP3 here is the extra states that we carry in order to make the game slightly more interesting. So a fun finding that we found was that uh, instead of just focusing on the transition function, each game should also remember to implement a reset game function. It does prove quite useful. Next steps um, for us, most uh, notably, is to be able to make this into a cross world and also exper experiment how to do this process automatically. Thank you very much.